Casey. I fell in love with you five years ago, and today I love you more than I ever imagined that I could love anyone. But I promise that tomorrow and every day after, I will love you like it's our last day on earth. If we argue, I won't go to bed angry. I'll stay up until we make up. And every morning when we go to work, I will tell you I love you, kiss you, and hug you goodbye. I vow to be loyal to you. I will be on your side when you're under pressure and life seems uncertain. I'll rub your back at night when your anxious mind won't let you sleep. And I'll be your jetpack when you need comfort. I will love you as you are. I would never try to change you. I intend to give you encouragement. I intend to inspire you and give you the support and the space that you need to grow. Thank you guys for everything you've done for me. And I hope you like your gifts. <laughs> Carla, for the last five years, you have shown me love and companionship that I never knew possible. You have been my best friend, business advisor, sounding board, and sidekick through every adventure. We have grown together, celebrated every peak together, and supported each other through every valley. <laughs> Your patient, calm, and caring manner, confident but humble intelligence, quick wit, and wholehearted selfless care for those in your life has shown me what it means to be loved and pushes me to be my best self. Carla is fiercely independent, as I'm sure Casey has learned by now. Her mother and I um, are most proud of her fierce independence. I'm sure all of you have had in your lives events that are seared in your mind. Uh, I've got several events that, that are like that. One of them was the day that Carla was born. When the uh, nurse handed her to me, I was immediately just taken away. Uh, uh, never had an experience like that. Uh, I was the first one to get to hold her. Uh, took my heart right then. You look beautiful. Thank you. What do you think? Look at the back. That's great. You look great. Yep. Let me see your hair. Got it side swept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That will hurt me. <laughs> no crying. Uh, goodness. I love you. I love you too. Thank you for everything you do for us. Me and Casey. We love you. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. So do you. I already knew that you would. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. It's here. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Are you, Are you nervous? Are you done planning? <laughs> <laughs> I love this dress. Thank you. Oh, Is it back? Oh, that's so gorgeous. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Oh, are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Yeah, the weather's... Have you been having fun? Yeah, we've been having a great time. Yeah, everybody looks great. All the <laughs> girls. Have you seen the other girls? Yeah, I yeah. Know, they look good. It's all coming together. Mm -hmm. Yep, all the cleaning. <laughs> you can tell I have fake eyelashes on. <laughs> it looks great. Your makeup looks amazing. Yeah, Christine does a good job. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Ready to do this? Yep, I'm ready. I feel good. You feel good? <laughs> yeah. I feel amazing, yep. actually. I don't feel nervous. I just feel good. Good. Family and friends of Casey and Carla, I'd like to welcome you to their wedding here at beautiful Grace Court in downtown Winston-Salem. They have known most of you for many years. Because you are the ones who have supported them and know them so well, it is only fitting that you are the ones to share this once-in-a-lifetime moment with them. This location at Grace Court marks a kind of center point for Carla and Casey. It's a short walk to both their home in one direction and the location of their first date in the other direction. Where we stand today is a place of symmetry and balance for them. And my hope is that their lives together will build with these features front and center. Casey, you have my trust. I come here today without any doubts in my heart. And I promise that I'll always continue to be honest and faithful to you so that you know you can trust me too. 
I'm committed to you. I want to spend the rest of our lives laughing, loving, growing older and wiser together. And so I stand here today in front of every friend. <laughs> in front of every friend and loved one we share to declare my love and make these promises to you. I vow to laugh with you, to cry with you, to dream with you, to grow together with you. I vow to exercise the patience that love sometimes demands. I promise to support you through adversities and to push you through adventures. I will challenge you to make the most out of every opportunity and to never lose our spark. I will give you space and independence when you need it, but my shoulder will never be too far when you need a place to cry. Great job, Willow. Okay guys, I'd like you to stand for the bride, please. And so it is that Casey and Carla present themselves to be married today, surrounded by the people they love most. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Now, I can't promise to be perfect. And I know I don't have to make promises that I can't keep because you love me for me. I'll probably steal the covers from you every night and load the dishwasher wrong and you'll have to redo it <laughs> and I'll insist every time that it's your turn to take the trash out because we know we, I hate doing that but I promise to you that I will be your person to lean on I will be your camping sidekick your travel partner I will be your adorer I'm your advocate and from this day forward I will do my best to make you proud that I'm your wife Perhaps most importantly, I promise to always give you back rubs before we fall asleep. <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally, no matter what life may bring. Together forever shall we always be. I love you. <laughs> it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. I am pleased to present for the first time, Casey and Carla Lefevre. I was on the verge of crying the whole time, but I didn't cry as much as I thought I was, I was going to. You're like, keep your shit. <laughs> 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 Casey and I grew up as normal brothers do. We both antagonized each other, got on each other's nerves. Pretty typical brotherly stuff. I remember once when we were younger, I had stolen a cloth napkin from a Chinese restaurant. And once Casey found out, he spent the entire night convincing me that I was going to jail for it. <laughs> You're busted, Josh, is what he would tell me. You're so busted. That phrase used to make me so angry. It still does. <laughs> Let's bring him out for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Casey and Carla Lefebvre. Come on now.
after college, we spent a year living together. Honestly, it felt like living with a live hand grenade. <laughs> Mess around with him too much and he'll explode on you. It's undeniable that Casey has a fiery personality, which is the reason why I think Carla is such a great fit for my brother. Her calm and cool demeanor is the water in which he cools himself in. Together, they form a balance, an equilibrium, a yin and a yang, living in perfect harmony. And I think that's something that we all strive to find within our lives. And it's obvious to me that Casey and Carla have found that within each other. Carla, you look beautiful as always tonight, and I'm so happy to have you within our family. Casey, you've always been a positive influence in my life, and you've been the best older brother that I could ever hope to have. I love you both, and I know you guys will make a great team together. I'll think about you guys while I'm serving time in jail for that cloth napkin I stole. <laughs> I'm tired of running from the law. <laughs> Cheers to the newlyweds. Yeah.